Thanks for staying with us. Now here's this week's Kansas Soybean Update. This is the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Josh Runyon, a Geary County Elementary School teacher, is joining us. And you were a part of a group that just completed the K-State Summer Soybean Science Institute. What were some of the expectations going into this program? And Some of the expectations that we had were just coming in and being a more of a city kid and just teaching more city kids and military students. I know a lot about wheat and corn, but it was very exciting to learn more about soybeans. Some of the expectations I had was really just to get to know more about soybeans. And it's not a crop that I was familiar with. And going into that, we went into some of the plant structures that soy has that are very unique. And the most important thing is thank the Soybean Commission for allowing teachers to go and improve their professional development with agriculture, most importantly. But I think the best part about it was just learning about the huge regional crop that is growing in popularity, learned a lot about weed control, the importance of facing, and how important soybeans are in a crop rotation. And the ability to see all that and to experience all that was literally to be out in the field. K-State has an awesome program set up that the Soybean Commission sponsors. And we went out to their research park. We went down to Ashland Bottoms. We were able to see hail damage on crop. We were able to see bug infestation. Dr. McCornack, who's the main teacher for this, is using drone technology to help map out and check out more of the aphid population and try to control it. And is being able to watch a drone fly five meters in the a, a, a field and the thing was pretty cool. How are you going to incorporate uh, some of the things you've learned in this institute into your regular curriculum? We were able to get supplies and technology, things that are obviously very hard for teachers to get right now. So I got an iPod 6 so we can help take pictures and progress across. Um, I got a plant light that the Soybean Commission provided and to just be able to teach using inquiry with students and let them create their own investigations and hypothesize and test. And we have tons of soybean seeds. We're learning about the bacteria and how they create their own nitrogen and just letting other teachers know that you don't have to have a greenhouse. You don't have to have a plot of land to do this. We can do this all in our class and really start to get kids excited about agriculture. Josh Runyon, Geary County Elementary School teacher, is joining us. He was a part of the Summer Soybean Science Institute at Kansas State University, and he's been our guest on the Kansas Soybean Update. It's brought to you by the Kansas Soybean Commission. The Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. Learn more at Kansas Soybean. Beans.org. For Kansas Soybeans, I'm Greg Akagi. Hope you enjoyed the Kansas Soybean Update. Alan Geiger is up next.